everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I am finally back with another scrapbook layout. I know there was quite a few of you that enjoyed me doing these every Sunday and I have got quite a few um, as I mentioned in a tutorial not too long ago it's the editing more than anything so they do take some time but anyway enough of that here is a funny picture of me and a couple of my best friends there was a group of us that went to Ibiza a few years ago and uh, we just were having fun in the pool and uh, one of our friends captured that picture there of my friend Kirsty and Catherine trying to lift me in the water. We were trying to look cool and it, it clearly wasn't working. Anyway, I thought it was a fun picture to scrapbook. So I've pulled out some loose scrapbook papers I've got here. They're from, I think the one I'm using is a Jen Hadfield one, My Bright Life. But I also have got some simple stories, Pink Paisley, all kinds of ones there. So I'm using the reverse of this one here, which has got those... Um, milkshakes that's it so I'm just sticking that one down I used my X cut circle cutter just to create that kind of corner piece because I'm going to be adding some watercolor onto that in a moment uh, to create like a water effect in the background so I'm just adding probably way too much <laughs> double-sided tape there but anyway sticking that all down and then I start to bring in the Arteza watercolor paints so I'm just using my palette there just a just a few of the blues and some white and I'm, I'm a bit of an old school scrapbook person. I've been doing this for a long, long time. And I am i wouldn't say I'm lazy with scrapbooking, but I don't do, I don't really prime anything. And I actually like it when it gets all crinkled and it looks like kind of, you know, when you tea stain paper and you put it in the oven and it goes all crinkly. I like that effect with my layouts. My layouts are, yeah, like I said, I just do whatever I want. So I don't use any specific scrapbooking tools when I scrapbook a lot of this is just all my paper craft supplies so you know take it for what it is those of you that are your serious you know scrapbookers then yes I would gesso this prime it all that kind of stuff so you don't get all of this warping but I also did iron this slightly on the back which I do a lot of the time anyway so that's just my preferred way of doing it so you would have seen there I done like a heavy wash just to create a bit of a messy background and then I'm starting to layer everything up so the stickers here are from the Vicky Booting Kaleidoscope sticker sheet so I've just gone and pulled out a load of like the little sentiments and the photo I've just backed on some paper and sticking that down along with all of those stickers which I've just framed with the same pink so you see there I'm just starting to stick everything down the splash is from a thickers sheet and it's called prismatic again a lot of my supplies are old as well I don't really use current stuff because I just pick them up when they're on offer and things like that I'm just adding some little flag tails on the ends of the title there and also on all those subheadings which you'll see me use in a moment and I'm just playing around where I'm going to position that and uh, yeah it's just a nice fun one I've actually this was done probably last summer I'm editing it now in the winter so it's making me jealous I want to be back in that pool so we've got here be the reason someone smiles love your company I've got that little camera which was I just thought a nice little extra and then that one there says this made me laugh and then we've got memories and I just thought they're really nice. They, you know, they do, they kind of sum up that day. It was just really, really fun. We always talk about it, actually. These little, uh, they're called Shape Sprinkles by Doodlebug, but they're just little embell heart embellishments, really. So I'm just doing a few of them just clustered together there above the photo. And then I'm just bringing in some white Nouveau drops, again, just to kind of add that underwater, like bubble kind of effect. And that's a metallic Nouveau one as well. I can't remember exactly the name, but there you have it so just a bit of fun and um, I thought I would start bringing these back onto the channel just something a bit different and like I said I know lots of you did enjoy these ones I have put there Ibiza 2015 but I'm sure it was earlier than that anyway I'll have to look into that but hopefully it's made you smile just a little bit of inspiration something like I said a bit different there I am close up oh my gosh we did have such <laughs> such a laugh that day anyway thank you for stopping by and um, I'll be back again tomorrow with a normal tutorial thanks for watching bye